Okay, after everyone has learned how to use the inspector to get XPath, now we will move on to the nodes touch nodes, text entry nodes, so you can interact with the position that has the XPath you got from the inspector. The first node is the touch node. This is simple. It operates by touching the screen when using the phone. However, you need to determine the touch point and the touch time or touch operation, whether it's a single, double, or long press. Here, first the touch will have a selector. Selector means the XPath I showed you. For example, here I will go to the inspector to capture XPath. For example, I want to click on this clock. I will point to it, then left click once on this XPath line for everyone to copy the XPath. Then remember to check if it's clickable to be able to click. Here I will paste the XPath in the inspector. Timeout is the waiting time to perform this click operation. Meaning if within 10 seconds it cannot click, or there is no such XPath, it will go to another node and report failure. You can choose touch type as normal, which is single tap, double tap, long press, and the delay time is the pause time. Is the waiting time before performing this touch node to avoid touching too quickly, you can use the delay, or else leave it as default. So it will run the script for you. Now I will pause. Next, besides selector you can also choose touch by coordinates. Which is the position, suppose here. I will go back to the inspector and get the position edit. Here the position is X, 969, Y, 1480. I'll find out 1480. Touch to see. If it can click. So it clicked according to the position about clicking by coordinates. Please note that the devices you run need to have the same screen size. For example, here my device is 6.5 inches. The other devices are 6.5 inches. With the same screen size of 6.5 inches, you can click exactly at this coordinate. But when changing the screen, this coordinate may change to another location. Please note this for me. And to be accurate, you can choose click by XPath, it will capture the element. Not the position, it will be more accurate. After that, you can use coordinates. Okay, that's the touch node. Next is the swipe node. Swiping is very easy, you can choose a simple swipe. Which means just swipe up, down, left, right. You can choose the direction to swipe up, swipe down, or swipe left, swipe right. For example, I choose swipe left to see if it can swipe left. My phone is set to swipe from left will be similar to the back button. It will return to the home screen. Double click means swipe from right to left. Move to the left side and swipe down. Swipe down means swipe down from top to bottom. Or you can swipe custom. Custom swipe needs to determine the starting X position and the ending X position. Also, the duration is the swipe duration swipe fast or slow. You can adjust here. The unit is milliseconds. Next is, node press key which is the node used to press keys you can press any key. There are many keys here. If it's the home key, it returns to the home screen. Back key, returns. Volume up, volume down. Press menu. Search key, power key, camera key, focus, etc. Are function keys these are basic key presses. If you want to press any key, you will use that key, choose that key, run that node, then press the key for you. The type text node, as I mentioned earlier about whether it can focus. For example, I will use the search bar. 
go back to the inspector. I want to enter search content as I mentioned earlier. So when I point here focus. Try writing. Type text paste the inspector. Inspector suppose I type 123. Here there is a button to enter text when the input field is already focused. You need to leave this blank, so you don't need to select the inspector. Meaning you have clicked on the search field it's in text entry mode. Focused on the search bar. You don't need to click again. Just leave the selector blank. If not for example, on this screen nothing has been done. You will need the selector. So the app knows where to write the content in the input field. Let's try running it. Let's capture again. Go to the inspector. Capture again. Click. Try again. Click it. Search field. Find element. So when I capture the X path correctly. The X path the focus status is true. It wrote for me the content 123 in the search field. This is very important to avoid errors. Capture the correct X path so you can use. Those are the basic nodes. Thank you for watching this video. 